In the year 1280, Scotland was invaded and conquered by the ruthless English ruler, King Edward Longshanks. A young boy named William Wallace witnessed the treachery of the English and the suffering of his people. He would soon embark on a journey that would shape his destiny. Before we dive into the inspiring story of William Wallace and his courageous fight for freedom, we kindly ask you to subscribe to our channel and show your support by liking this video. By doing so, you'll stay updated with more captivating content like this. Now, let us embark on a journey that will fill your heart with inspiration and ignite the flame of determination within you. After losing his father and brother, William was taken abroad on a pilgrimage by his uncle Argyle. He traveled throughout Europe, gaining an education and the skills he would need to one day free his homeland. Years later, a grown William Wallace returned to Scotland and fell in love with his childhood friend, Murren MacClanoff. Despite their secret marriage, tragedy struck when Murren was captured and publicly executed by the English. Fueled by grief and a burning desire for revenge, Wallace rallied his clan and led them in a fierce rebellion against the English oppressors. His legend spread, and soon, hundreds of Scots joined his cause. Wallace's leadership skills and military strategies led to victories at the Battle of Stirling Bridge and the destruction of the city of York. His actions struck fear into the heart of King Edward, who sent his son Prince Edward to stop Wallace at any cost. Wallace sought the assistance of Robert the Bruce, a contender for the Scottish crown. Despite pressure from his father to submit to the English, Robert was inspired by Wallace's determination and joined his cause. Isabella of France, sent by Longshanks as a distraction, instead became enamored with Wallace. She warned him of an impending invasion, leading Wallace to implore the Scottish nobility to take action and reclaim their country. At the Battle of Falkirk, Wallace faced betrayal from noblemen Lachlan and Mornay, who had been bribed by Longshanks. The Scots suffered a devastating loss, but Wallace's life was spared by Robert the Bruce, who regretted his actions. For the next seven years, Wallace waged a guerrilla war against the English, assisted by Isabella, with whom he had an affair. His relentless fight inspired the Scottish people. Robert arranged a meeting with Wallace in Edinburgh, unaware that his father and other nobles conspired to capture and hand him over to the English. Isabella, seeking revenge, revealed her pregnancy, sealing Longshank's fate. In London, Wallace was brought before an English magistrate, condemned to public torture and beheading. Despite the opportunity to save his life, Wallace defiantly shouted freedom as his final word, refusing to submit to the king. Years later, in 1314, Robert the Bruce, now Scotland's king, stood before a line of English troops on the fields of Bannockburn. He invoked Wallace's memory and rallied his army to fight for their freedom once more. With Wallace's spirit guiding them, the Scottish army fought fiercely against the stunned English, achieving a stunning victory at the Battle of Bannockburn. Scotland regained its freedom. The tale of William Wallace teaches us the indomitable power of the human spirit the courage to stand against oppression, and the determination to fight for what is right. It reminds us that even in the face of unimaginable odds, a single individual can ignite a flame of hope and inspire an entire nation. Let William Wallace's legacy be a reminder that within each of us lies the strength to challenge injustice and fight for freedom. May his story inspire us to rise above our own limitations, to unite in purpose, and to never surrender in the pursuit of a brighter future. For as long as the spirit of William Wallace lives on in our hearts, the flame of freedom will continue to burn, igniting the path towards a world where liberty and justice prevail.